these words are non-countable 99.9% of the time. So the first word you do not need to add an S to or you can't is garbage. So if we look out on the street and you say there is garbages or there are garbages on the street, this is wrong. Garbage is non-countable. And I always remember uh, somebody commented on my YouTube channel, made me sad. They said, this channel is garbages. And then I said, well, if you watch my channel, you will correct that mistake. So garbage is non-countable. Trash is non-countable. Waste is non-countable. The next word is teamwork. Work 99% of the time is non-countable, but teamwork is always non-countable. The same is true with artwork. These are not non-countable. So if you like Da Vinci, you can say, yeah, I love his artwork. If you want to count it, you could say works of art. Why? I don't know. But teamwork, artwork, these are non-countable. The next word is headquarters. Now, headquarters always has an S at the end. So you could say Sony's headquarters are in Tokyo. Even if there's just one, you could say uh, Microsoft's main headquarters is in Seattle, I think, okay? So headquarters always have the S, but never a headquarter. The next common mistake where people add an S is with spices and herbs like ginger, garlic, cilantro. Now, a lot of people might hate cilantro. I'm on the fence, but ginger, if you're eating a uh, dinner and you say, oh yeah, there's ginger in this meal. You don't need to say a ginger or gingers. Ginger is non-countable. Garlic is non-countable. Cilantro is non-countable. Parsley is non-countable. So you don't need to add an S. Uh, the next common mistake is vocabulary. Uh, I often hear students say, I need to improve my vocabularies. You don't need to put an S at the end of vocabulary. It is non-countable 99.9% .9 of the time. The next one that is non-countable is slang. Once again, as a teacher, students say, I want to learn slangs. That's fine, I understand it, but if you wanna sound fluent, get rid of the S. I want to learn slang. The next one, this is just an, uh, an everyday thing, but when we talk about meat, when we talk about beef, chicken, pork, bacon, fish, shrimp, when we're talking about the meat, these are non-countable. So you don't need to say, I like shrimps in my pasta. You can say, I like shrimp in my pasta. Or can we have bacons for breakfast? Wrong, can we have bacon for breakfast? Number nine, or actually number eight, oxygen and air and most gases are non-countable. Helium, non-countable. Hydrogen, non-countable. Oxygen is non-countable. We breathe oxygen, not oxygens. And I'll do one more, it's nutrition. Nutrition, and if you say this food has many nutritions, that's wrong. This food has a great deal of nutrition, non-countable. If you want to count it, you can say nutrients. All right, so we looked at nine. Why not 10? Well, I was going to talk about technology, and usually technology is non-countable, but this is like a 95% thing. However, if we want to talk about the world and we say, technologies have changed the world or technology has changed the world technology has is more common more fluent more natural all right so i hope you learned something today make sure to share subscribe like comment do all those things you guys have a great day bye